Hey guys, Matt here. In this video, I wanted to talk a little bit about sleeves and what I use and some of the recommendations that I make with sleeves. There are different kinds. There are standard sleeves and there are what I call kind of the trading card um, game type sleeves. So let's talk about them real quick. Stay tuned. Right. If you have been watching the channel, you'll know I love these Vault X binders. And these binders, if you haven't seen, I've got video and I'll try and leave a link above. But I kind of store my cards in these binders. And both they can handle standard size trading cards as well as, you know, they're really designed for these game cards. So whether you're doing Pokemon, or in this one, I got the um, the uh, Weiss Schwartz uh, cards, which we opened last week on the channel. These type of uh, this type of card uh, folder can handle it, and it's zippered and such. But that's really not what I wanted to talk to you today about. I wanted to talk to you about you know normal trading cards we use, or I use the Ultra Pro sleeves. You can get these on Amazon. And they do the standard, um, basically, two and a half by three and a half cards. So these are basically what you would call penny sleeves. Nothing special about them. I happen to like the Ultra Pros, but you can get any type of uh, sleeves. I would just recommend getting one with uh, polypropylene film and the non-PVC uh, material so it doesn't stick to the card, which I think is really important. And just to give you an idea... I have taken these Weiss Schwartz cards and I have put this in a standard sleeve. And what you'll notice is with the standard sleeve, you've got some excess room for this. So really these cards are not necessarily designed for, for this type of, of card. Instead, it is designed more so, pull this one out of the top loader, it is designed for this type of card, standard trading card size card and you'll see there is a little excess of room but it's pretty good on the, each side it's pretty slim on each side which allows you to kind of put the card in a penny sleeve and a top loader such as this now with these type of cards the Pokemon or the Weiss Schwartz these are more game trading game cards here and this one, I don't like using these because, as you can see, there's a lot of play because these cards tend to be a little smaller. And what I have started doing is using cards like this. And these are vault -X. These are the same manufacturer of the folder or binder. I'm not sponsored in anything by them, but I do like their products. And you can get 100 of these sleeves. You can get these on Amazon. You may even be able to get them in your local comic shop or game shop. Came comes the same way. And as you can see, these are bigger than these. So what ends up happening is for these type of cards, and I put one in here so you can see, I use them and you get a much slimmer fit. So this one is nice and topped off on that. It's clear on both sides. They make different ones where you can get for Pokemon where they are filmed um, either in black or covered completely because you really don't worry about the back of the card per se because there's nothing on it you're really looking at the front but on this one I really like these they keep them protected as you can see they're very very slim fit nicely and to me are a little bit better for these type of cards so you don't get that play of this moving around this can be used they will both go on the vault X binder but nonetheless I think this is a great product if you're looking for a Pokemon or a trading card just because of that nice slim fit keeps it nice and close so you get that beautiful still scene of the card and yet it's protected on both sides so nothing too crazy but like I said um, I think protection of the cards makes a huge difference on how you're gonna do it let me know your comments and thoughts down below what do you use for your cards do you put them in penny sleeves? Do you not even bother? 
I may be a little bit um, anal retentive and I put all of my cards in penny sleeves. So as you can see, all of these cards that we opened up last week are going to go in sleeves and then go into the binder. That's just how I like to keep them. But what do you do? How do you like to keep them? Let me know in the comments down below. Do you still use standard penny sleeves or do you go specifically on these type of cards for you know a different type of sleeve, whether it be the Vault X or some other type of smaller sleeve? I'm definitely interested to hear what you guys uh, think down below. And as always, don't forget to subscribe and give me a thumbs up if you get something out of it or you just like the content. It's greatly appreciated either way. As always, guys, take care, and I'll see you in the next video.